go time, Whistler. Are you ready for your Red Bull joyride? Crankworks in uh, in Whistler was um, the first slope salt contest ever, I think. So um, it's very prestigious to do good there. And uh, I would say that Crankworks is what everyone is practicing for and uh, the highlight of the year. My experience from Crankworks is pretty much either very good or very bad. I think I've, if I haven't been on the podium, I've ended up in, in hospital. Here we go, dropping it in for you next. Silver medals from last year, Martin Solstrom. Yeah, I mean, I've been both second and third, so um, to win would uh, feel a whole lot better and would be uh, probably the highlight of my, my career. 89.8, your new leader, Martin Solstrom. Going into the second run, I was sitting in second, but I was the last man on, on the hill and the last man to drop, so I also knew that if I put down my run, I had the, the chance to win. Nolly 360, tons of style coming out of this rider. 360, neck, neck, and into a away. I almost felt like it was, it was meant to be. I had the run of my life, and it was just the last jump left. crash here at the bottom, positive thoughts and vibes. Well, as soon as I stopped tumbling down the hill, I was just waiting for the pain to get better, but it was just the opposite way. It just got worse and worse, and that's kind of when I understood that something was wrong. Lying on the hospital, of course the pain was really bad, but just laying there and knowing that you're first of all gonna be off the bike for six, seven months and then lose the world tour and uh, also miss the chance to win Crankworx again. All that together, yeah, pretty, pretty hard to handle. Then after five days, I flew back to Sweden and I think I was pretty down and depressed for, for a month or, or so where I didn't really wanna do too much and pretty over everything. But then I, um, I started to go to, to Manchester and uh, just feeling the progression there was a pretty big motivation, I think. It's, uh, that's really when I started to feel that the hard work is gonna pay off and I'm gonna be back on the bike quicker if I do a good job with the rehab. I knew about Martin's injury because I was watching it at Crankworx. I saw him break his leg and I saw exactly what type of break it was. I knew it was career-threatening break for any athlete in any sport. And I immediately reached out to Red Bull Sweden and say, hey, that's, that's a career-ending break. We need to get working with Martin. Two more. Last one. Well done. Well done. Well done. Uh. He's very lucky that he's got the support in place that he's had to be able to come back because um, some athletes don't come back from that injury. This, the bone you've got around there now is strong enough for you to do what you're doing on. And as time goes by, the pain should go away. But I shouldn't crash. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have said that to you just before you crashed. Yeah, true. <laughs> When the doctor said I could ride my bike again, it was just pure happiness and such a such a relief and the motivation was just yeah over over the roof. But yeah, I must say it, it was definitely also nervous time. You don't really know how much you've lost in eight to nine months off the bike. Don't drop it. Kolla. En hacka, en cykel, en skog. Det blir inte mycket bättre. Det kan jag säga. The injury really got me thinking about why I got into mountain biking in the in the first place. It was definitely not the biggest bike parks in the world or the best slope slope courses. It was just going out in the woods with my bike and just having a good time. And I'm really happy that the injury brought that back to my life. 
Hardest part is about getting injured in a like fast developing sport as free mountain biking is. It's not that I just have to get back to where I were. I missed seven months of riding, so I have to get way better to get back on top. I feel like screaming till my lungs have nowhere. Feel like running though I don't know where. Feel like laughing till I'm drowning in tears. For the first time in years. I guess it's time to try the three double whip again. The trick I broke my leg on, I'm a bit terrified. It's been a trick that I've been associating with pain for the last, yeah, eight months. So um, definitely mixed, mixed feelings and uh, I have to say I'm a bit terrified. Feel like running, though I don't know. 